Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I am the makeup enthusiast. Today I'm going to be showing you what I got in this month's Maslow & Co sample subscription box. This month's box is quite exciting. It's a French edition. Let's jump in and see what I got in this month's box. I'm quite excited. So this, each month it comes with a different sleeve. So this is the French edition sleeve. Last month's box was a Korean edition. So if you do want to see that, I will link it up in the corner and it is this corner I believe see if I guess that right thumbs up if I got that right so they come in these beautiful black boxes so I always use these boxes to help organize my makeup they're brilliant for organizing makeup I've got some down in my drawers down here with all my samples in them i've got them all separated out into like makeup and skincare samples and then in my drawers over this side i've got like my all my pigments in one of the boxes and yeah all my makeup and everything goes in these it's a cheap way of getting some organizational stuff for your ikea drawers now on first opening this box it smells delicious they don't come with a little information booklet like most subscription boxes do. They've decided to go paperless with that so it gets emailed to you every month. So if I am looking down it's because I'm looking at my phone trying to get some information about the products I'm picking out. So the first product, I'll grab the well-known product out of here. It's a small bottle of the uh, Bioderma Micellar Water. a 100 ml bottle so I absolutely love Bioderma so I'm not sad to see this I have tried it before I will definitely use this I'm not sad to see this in the box at all this bottle retails for $20.99 and a 500 ml bottle is $42.99 now that's probably from the Maslow & Co website so you might be able to find it cheaper elsewhere. I think Priceline, you can get it cheaper. I think it's around maybe the $30, $35 a Priceline. But definitely happy to see that. And obviously it's a French box. So of course we're going to see this in the French box. The next item in here is by another really well-known uh, French skincare brand. It's Nooks Paris. Now this is the... Let me check my phone. Nuxel, Nux, Nux, Nux Elance Eclat Serum. So it just comes in a bottle like that. And this is a 15ml sample. This sample retails for $19.50 for a 15ml sample. That's bloody expensive. And a full size is 50ml and it's $64.99. I might crack this open. So it says Youth and Radiance Revealing Anti-Aging Care on the bottle. It smells nice. I'm not quite sure what exactly this is. Okay, so it's like it's just like a serum. It says it's got hyaluronic acid in it and whatnot. So that one's pretty cool. The next item is also by another well-known skincare brand. The rest of the items in the box after this one are brands that I haven't heard of before. The three that we've just mentioned are brands that you can purchase at the price line in Australia. So in a way, I'm a bit disappointed. In a way, I'm not. I'm kind of disappointed because this box is supposed to bring products that you wouldn't normally purchase or you wouldn't normally have access to in Australia to your doorstep. But these products you can purchase at price line. So I'm a I'm a tad bit disappointed that they're in the box because you can already get them in Australia a lot of these last three. I'm not sure about those specific products. I know you can specifically buy Bioderma at Priceline, but I'm not sure about the Nooks product or this product. But you can get the brands at Priceline, so I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. So this product is by La Roche-Posay, and it is the... Lip Picker, which is a lipid replenishing cleansing oil anti-irritation shower and bath soap free and paraben free. That's it there. And this is a 100ml bottle. So this seems to be like one of those shower moisturizer 
things similar to uh, what's that brand? L'Occitane and I think Nivea's got like a it smells interesting but yeah I think it's kind of like a like a cleansing oil for your body that's not like a harsh soap Duh. now this deluxe travel size is 12.95 for the 100 mils now full size is 400 mils and that's 32.95 oh, so you can also use it in baths so if you wanted like a moisturizing bath you can pop some of this in there i might give that a try that sounds like a nice idea next is a product and i think i'm going to have trouble pronouncing the brands that's the problem with these boxes because they're from foreign countries i don't know how to pronounce the brands it's nominone and it's a radiant hydration night mask face mask balm with sea holly that's it there quite a cute bottle this whoop nearly dropped it this is a 40 ml bottle so the website tells me that this is a full size and it is $45 for this. So it says it's suited to all skin types and it's a plant-based natural cosmetic. This is a product that I'd like to see because I have never heard of this brand before and it seems like something that I might actually use. I can always use a bit of radiance in my skin. I'm not sure how this one's going to go. So you don't actually wash it off. you like keep massaging it into the skin which is interesting i'm not sure how i'll go with that because it smells quite soapy so i think i think i might skip my skin to strip skip my skin strip my skin too much so we'll see how we go next product is by institute carite paris it's a almond and honey sheer hand cream just a little bottle quite cute packaging on it so this is a 30 ml bottle or tube 30 ml tube is 14 dollars full size is 2.53 ounces and it's 30 dollars it smells quite nice mm. it smells like honey obviously because it's almond and honey scent but it's not overly sweet it's it's like quite a mature honey smell next is a product that doesn't didn't come with any packaging it's from the same brand as the hand cream but i'm a bit concerned that it doesn't have any packaging around i'm not sure if i like that but it is a macaron hand soap and this tiny little thing is seven dollars it smells just like a normal soap but seven dollars for that that's a bit ridiculous and it looks like you could get four different scents in your box i'm not sure what the scents are but there was that option but this is the last item in the box the one after this is my Maso Maso Maven item so this is from Laboratories Surface Paris and it's the Bright Now Savon Exfoliant sorry I'll read the English section rather than the French section this is the Bright Now Gentle Exfoliating Clarifying Soap for Face and Body so that's the box and that's that's the soap inside I'm not sure if I'll use this on my face but it'd be nice to have an exfoliating bar of soap for my body so that's really nice that one is a hundred and fifty grams yep 150 grams and nineteen dollars for that one so that's the box well and truly paid for just out of the products that come in the box normally on top of that is a Maslow Maven item and this month it is from Apsu and it's a travel candle so it's just a small little candle I'll see if I can get this open I'm not sure about that hand cream my hands are feeling quite greasy and like it hasn't sunk in yet so this travel tin retails for $19 as well I'm not sure how I feel about this I think it's geranium mm. I'll definitely burn it, but I wouldn't repurchase this item for sure. That's absolutely everything that I got in my box. If you get Maslow & Co, let me know your thoughts on this month's French box, whether you liked it, whether you didn't like it. 
I personally, I, I think it was a pretty good box. I think it's definitely above the $58 mark. I'm not sure how much above. I will leave up in the corner here, one of these corners, the total value of the box. If you're interested in checking out Maslow & Co, I'll leave a link down in the bottom bar down below, down in the description box. And make sure you check out all my other Maslow & Co unboxings. I will link up on the screen here, on the end card, my playlist for my Maslow & Co unboxings. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Click that subscribe button down below if you want to see more from me. And I will catch you next time. See you later.